hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to see how we can set the value of reference field to the logged in username when you're working in a company you will most probably get the requirement to set the reference field to the logged in username okay so in this video we are going to see how we can achieve that functionality in a quick manner okay there are multiple ways you can achieve that particular functionality but we are going to see the quickest way we can achieve that particular functionality okay for the demo we are going to use the configuration management database form so how you can reach to this form click on all navigation menu and in the filter navigator type cmdb dot form okay hit enter and it will open the form in the same window now before we begin our demo the reference field must be referencing the user table okay so this is the point to remember the reference field must refer to the user table if the reference field is not referring to the user table then you will not be able to achieve this particular functionality okay so the reference field must refer to the user table why we are going to see okay let's check whether owned by field is referencing the user table or not so right click on the owned by label And here you will see the option so owned by click on this you will see the type is reference and it is referencing the user table okay now we will close this that's how you can check whether a reference field is referencing a user table or not okay now we are going to configure it so that we can achieve a particular functionality you have to click on configure dictionary option once you click on it you will be presented with this form okay this is dictionary entry owned by and we are seeing the form in advanced view once you are on this form you have to scroll down and you will see the default value section click on this section and if you don't see the fields like use dynamic default then you have to bring this field with the help of form designer so if you go to the form designer of it how you can open the form designer from this particular form you have to click on additional actions and go to configure option here you will see the form design okay now we are going to go to form design of this particular form and you have to bring these two fields use dynamic default and dynamic default value okay if these two fields are not available in this default value section then you have to bring it with the help of form designer of that form okay now we are going to check this checkbox use dynamic default okay once we click on it we are going to see one more field visible dynamic default value okay and this is a reference field click on this reference icon and select this record okay once you select this record save the form and if you will see that uh, the name changes to sender so it will happen if you are selecting that record okay now we are going to go back to the form of configuration management database and we are going to reload this form and you are going to see that the owned by field will be set to the logged in username so we are going to refresh this page so if we scroll down we can see that our owned by field is set to the logged in username okay so you can use this out of the box functionality to set the reference field to the logged in username but there is one point to remember that reference field must refer to the user table why if we open this record we click on information icon then click on open record here you are going to see dynamic filter options and the label is sender now in the script field we can see that with the help of glad system object we are getting the user id of the logged in user so as we are getting the id of the logged in user so it is important for the reference field to refer to the user table because that logged in user id will be present in the user table only and that's why the reference field has to refer to the user table to set it to the value of logged in username Okay, so this was the end of the video. If you like this video, do share the videos with others. 
subscribe the channel for more videos like this thank you for watching this video bye bye